Nightscope is an advanced security company that builds fully autonomous robots for security. And they just began trading on the NASDAQ ticker symbol KSCP. And with me is CEO William Santana Lee. I got the ticker symbol, right, on that? Awesome. KSCP, oh, that's <laughs> awesome. So, and congratulations. I, I've known you for a few years and watched this journey. How's that been? <laughs> it's been a crazy journey. I had this shirt for the longest of time. Uh, I spoke at Draper University a long time ago. They gave me this shirt. I'm like, I have to wear this today. It's just yeah. been absolutely a very interesting journey, I must say. Okay. So, of course. And um, I mean, just let's talk about the company a little bit. I mean, I've had updates, you know, over the past few years. Um, where do you stand right now? And what will you do with this uh, capital raise that you're undergoing with the IPO? Uh, growth, growth, and growth, but slow, you know, steady and methodical. Uh, this is a very complicated set of technologies, as you know. It's a, a unique combination of self-driving autonomous technology, robotics, AI, and electric vehicles. Some of the most important technologies, and we're right, literally at the intersection. But Jane, if you would have asked me eight years ago, would literally the entire nation be? thinking about how to reimagine public safety and we would be listing the company in the middle of a pandemic while that's going on too. I mean, it's a, it's a little bit surreal, but but here we are. Yeah. Um, we've uh, we've now operated actually uh, through six winters and six summers. Uh, we've got probably nearing 1.4 million hours out in the field and uh, whole contracts from Hawaii through Texas to Rhode Island. Yeah, well, I was gonna ask about that. And by the way, I, I appreciate your thought about how strange the journey of life is. You just kind of go with the flow and you know and do your best so. yeah, we're ringing the bell from our living room i mean it's just complete insanity <laughs> <laughs> so um so talk to me about the business so you've got contracts you said in hawaii rhode island i mean where does it sit right now well, we primarily have been focused business to business. So, you know, kind of uh, wherever you might see a security guard or officer um, patrolling a commercial real estate uh, facility, uh, corporate campuses, uh, some retail, um, manufacturing logistics, airports, rail. Uh, but uh, I think, you know, this year is going to be a big focus on us. On We're halfway through a two year uh, U.S. federal government cybersecurity uh, review process. And I I'm hopeful that by the end of the year, we'll have an ATL or an authority to operate. And I think we've got a, a lot of wonderful technology that, that's been working in the private sector. And we've got a lot of crime fighting wins. If you go to nightscope.com and just click on the crime page, you can see all the machines doing all kinds of good stuff for, for society. I, I think we can be super helpful with, uh, with a number of operations in, in the U.S. federal government. And I remember you saying once like 9-11 was the kind of thing that spurred you really for this business. Like what was it about that that made you see a need for a company like Nightscope? Well, I mean, Jane, our country's over 200 years old. We're in our 46th president. Um, the first role of government is what? To protect its citizens. Mm -hmm. uh, crime has a $2 trillion negative economic impact on the U.S. every single year. It's a hidden tax we all pay in uh, blood, tears, and treasure. The problem and opportunity is, uh, as a country, we provide our two plus million troops every level of capability you might ever imagine uh, with nearly an $800 billion budget at the Department of Defense. There's one person in charge, the Secretary of Defense. And then there's awesome companies like Lockheed Martin, General Dynamics, Northrop Building, whatever widget a soldier might need in a, in a theater of war. We don't do that on our own soil. We've got a million security guards and a million law enforcement professionals trying to secure the country with the technological equivalent of a number two pencil and a notepad. And, and that therein lies the frustration uh, and the opportunity. Right. Well, and, and are you ready to be a public company and all the joy and headaches that come along with that? How will the company change? Uh, in some cases, not not a lot because of the, in the manner in which we raised the capital before this listing, we uh, had over raised over $100 million uh, uh, from 28,000 investors and in four major corporations. So we've been reporting to the SEC every six months as if we're publicly traded, but the stock wasn't at the time on a national exchange. Uh, so we, uh, we had a good set of training wheels, let's put it that way. And the training wheels come off today. 
but um, I, I was it was actually good for us to you know put those disciplines in in place. And now we've got an you know opportunity to access the the wider capital markets. Uh, possibly, I bought a lot of companies in my past life, so as my CFO, um, you know at the right point in time, and we might be an opportunity to be acquisitive. Um, and then you know from a recruiting brand client development standpoint, there's a lot of benefits of being publicly traded, and we're so grateful for uh, Nasdaq to to have us. They've been so supportive over all these years as, as we've grown the company. Yeah. And it does really give you a level of kind of a public, um, you know, name and a platform that you really can't get anywhere else once you become public. So, um, William, let's just finish up with how you mentioned acquisitions, perhaps what other kind of things do you see in the next couple of years for Nightscope? Uh, I think there's a lot of blocking and tackling that we need to do. Um, so we want to, the, the technology is really complicated. So we're going to re-architect and take the time uh, to do that and continue to scale up methodically. The focus on the, the U.S. federal government um, and again, focused on methodical, thoughtful growth. Uh, I'm not the hockey stick guy. No. This looks really pretty on a PowerPoint. That is not reality. Right. Um, but, you know, we've got a... We've got a recurring revenue business model for a recurring societal problem. And I think I can assure you that the market for crime is not going to collapse, right? No. Not like 7 billion people are going to wake up tomorrow morning and start behaving, right? Yeah, yeah. So as long as we can continue to build, you know, this awesome crime fighting technology, um, you know, as I like to say, if the criminals and terrorists win, no one wins. Yeah. If Nightscope wins, Literally everyone wins. Yeah. Um, so as I like to say, long night scope and short the criminals. <laughs> I love it. And I'm so happy for you, William. Like, it's great to see you. I know this is a momentous day for you and the company. And let's keep in touch as you, you know, begin we, to- we, we need to do a do-over, Jane. After COVID Palooza is over, like we need to like redo the whole thing. <laughs> let's hope that's very soon. <laughs> I hope so. so thank you, William.